Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Blue Eye Samurai. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode four of season one of Blue Eye Samurai. That last episode was amazing. Um, I absolutely loved it. I love the energy of it. Um, I love the music, the animation. Of course, I, I always talk about those. Those are definitely, you know, main characters in this entire series. Uh, but our boy Ringo, our boy Ringo, he is a hero. <laughs> that actually works. <laughs> you see what I did there? Um, but like, I like have randomly for the past week, like just been doing certain things where I'm just like, snow cap. And I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know why, but, uh, he lives inside of my brain. Ringo is part of my heart. Um, I absolutely love and adore him as a character and he is not only useful, but he is courageous and he is the bestest in the world. Um, I, I absolutely loved every second of the show when he is in it. I, I love the show period. And I feel like Ringo is very needed in this dark and often uh, violent and, and gruesome and uh, just misogynistic world, right? So having Ringo not only protect Mizu's identity from Taigen, but then protecting Mizu and Taigen and, and riding out with them, protecting them from the arrows, uh, he is, he's our hero. He's our hero. Uh, and, you know, Tygen, I was like, oh, no, are they making me like Tygen? Because it's not even that I didn't like. OK, so the thing that I disliked about Tygen and I still disliked about Tygen is one, how he constantly brings up the past and calls Mizu a dog. Um, and two, you know, I, I know he's hell bent on revenge. Um, what I like that he wants to do it honorably. Um, but you know, it's, it's always like me first. <laughs> it's just like, can we, can we have worldly perspective here about like what's going on? And I, I was sad that Mizu had knocked him out to, you know, leave a letter saying like, you know, the first day of autumn, uh, we'll have our fight or the, the second day of autumn, um, which means she's going to try to kill all of these men, these four white men, before uh, autumn, because it is winter. So that does give us some seasons. And one thing that I have learned from watching Avatar is that uh, sometimes seasons will take a whole season. So this might just be the winter one. And I don't know what happens with Fowler at the end of this, but if he dies, I won't be sad. He is a horrible man. Horrible, horrible man. It's like nothing to kill somebody. Him smashing that guy's face, like, like was just so brutally violent and just shocking. And he throws a temper tantrum so easily. Now I get that he is like a caged animal, but I'd rather have that animal caged than out in the wild or, you know, out doing business on other people in the world. And uh, Heiji Shindo is also wanting to be rid of Fowler. Um, you know, he was trying to strike a deal with Mizu and gave her a lot of information about getting into the castle, um, about like the, the sake, um, barrels, you know, going to the, the, um, I don't want to say the prostitutes, but I guess the brothels. Um, but you know, she did cut off his arm. I can't imagine he's happy about that. Um, you know, he was really trying to strike a deal to like, and it, it, it wasn't a fair deal. Like, give me your thumb. <laughs> and then it was just like sit in this barrel and you'll find your way inside of the castle. I mean, we saw Tygen roll up in the end inside the barrel. So obviously that is a way to get into the castle. So he might've been a hundred percent truthful and, and getting Mizu in there, but it's the after that you almost always have to worry about. Like he'd be like, well, now that you killed Fowler, I don't need to keep you alive. Everyone attack, you know? So, uh, I don't trust Heiji Shindo and neither did she. And I think she made the right call violently. Um, but the whole scene with the arrows coming over top of the mountain and into the cavern or into the whatever that thing was, like, was just stunning. And, and her and Tygen getting away and him saying, like, like, carry me on your back. Like, I would rather, it's almost like he would rather die doing something honorable rather than lose to her in a fight. <laughs> because, like, he's, like, willing to give his life so she is able to live. Now, of course, she still thinks that Mizu is a boy. Um, but he also gave Heiji Shindo Mizu's name. 
we couldn't get a name for a while. And like, it just rolls off Taigen's tongue and Heiji Shindo's like, ah, Mizu is who you're looking for. Um, and you know, I, I love what Ringo did with the, the snow cap mushroom. I wish it were two instead of one because he must have just used one because that's, eh. but two is, eh. so at least he's not a killer. I wouldn't want... Well, I mean, he did kick him off a cliff. It, it, granted, there's clouds there. You don't know how far he fell. It probably wasn't far. He probably threw up some more, got up, and grabbed Tygen, threw him in a barrel, and took him to the castle. Um, so I... I I'm, oh, and then we also had a, a Kemi who kind of became like this lead geisha, prostitute, courtesan, you know, a, a, a companion-esque person. Um, and she's... I think she's trying to play the game to get to where she wants to go. Do I think that that leads to a happy life in Tygen? I'm not sure. Um, now that he's at the castle, I'm I'm afraid because I feel like Fowler um, will torture him. Like, I don't think he would, you know, resist cutting him up from his toes up. Like, I, I, I definitely think that he would um, do something horrible to Tygen. There's only so many horrible things you could do that's more horrible than death, and I... Like, he could, like, literally cut off his hands and his feet and keep them alive. You know, um... Oh, there's other things that I don't even want to think about. I don't like that Fowler has him. And right now it's Heiji Shindo, and I don't know if Fowler is going to do anything, because I think Fowler is sick of this whole Mizu thing. Like, he just wants to go and, and, and overthrow... I forgot what it's called. It doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> Fowler wants to go about his business so he can return to having a life uh, that he desires rather than being kept in this castle. So he might just do Heiji Shindo the uh, favor and take care of Taigen. I hope not. It's funny how I wasn't a fan of Taigen and now I'm just like, oh my God, do I like Taigen? And then I was like, I was like, no, they have Taigen. Oh no. That changed all in the course of like one and a half episodes. Phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Um, and then I don't know what Seki's doing without a Kemi, but I don't think that he would be far behind unless he returned to her father without her. But I don't think that that would be good for him. So I feel like he would have to follow a Kemi. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know what a Kemi's next step is, is to pretend to be a prostitute um, or continue the princess route. Because I feel like she might have to get dirty in order to, like, survive and and be able to get to her goal. Shogun. I love how it just like popped in my head. <laughs> Fowler wants to overthrow the Shogun. That's me. The cogs kind of get stuck sometimes in the brain and then fast forward and I'm like, oh, I thought of the word. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, I'm really excited to get into this episode. This is episode four, so let's go. Excuse me. Is this a Kemi or like where a Kemi's at? Oh, Mizu is in a brothel with a Kemi! Oh man, I did not expect that. Michael Green, Amber, phenomenal show you've made here. Bastard, they're about to start! What? Where is his stick? Did he get his stick back to make his wish? A duel. a duel? Who? A death duel. Wow. This guy looks like he hasn't shaved in a while. That other guy looks really well rested. Ringo, stop smiling. <laughs> You lose money. Should I find us an inn for the night. No, I need a brothel. Mm -hmm. oh. I love how he's still wearing the bell. <laughs> oh, she saw a Kemi like real, like quickly when a Kemi went across the bridge. Maybe she'll recognize her. 
Ready for some peaches, Ringo? Hmm. Ringo, if you'd like to explore the harbor. An apprentice should stay with his master. Mm hmm I dig that about him. <laughs> oh, bad boy. Oh. Back here. <laughs> if that's to your flavor for everyone. <laughs> Hands. Oh! To be alive uh. is to wake up and do things you don't want to do. Or don't bother waking up. Wow. Oh. I like when you slap them. Uh. Someone wants to see you. Everyone's got a flavor. <laughs> Strong men come here to be weak, uncentered. <laughs> to escape. To for release. Oh there my is an art to sex, yes. Look. What is it? A it's a peephole. A mirror. If you are only a sword, are you even a man? Or a mere demon. Or neither. <laughs> One can only ascend if willing to rise. It's what I expected more so of anything. <laughs> the corner of your own heart. Oh, to he's the guy that won. He was honest with his desire. That is a swordsman who knows the shape of his soul. Interesting. So does Mizu not know the shape of her soul? Because she doesn't know desire? Oh. What? Excuse me? Tygen? I'm not shocked, but I am shocked at the same time. Oh boy. How do you know that name? Abijah Fowler. Ooh. Peculiarities. His castle allows no one in, but you've sent your prostitutes to him. Enough times to know you never want to. Oh, He's a man who began life taking pleasure in others' pain. Boredom has only made him experimental. That's what I figured. Why would I help you kill my customer? Because he deserves to die. And if she you probably knows I've that. I've seen who couldn't come till someone bled, you'd wear your blade to a stump. Wow. That's insane. Perhaps in your visits you met Heiji Shindo. Perhaps he laid a hand on you. If it was his right hand, consider yourself avenged. Absolutely. You provide services. So do I. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> Name your desire. Oh, I love this. How the tables have turned. Everything belongs to Boss Hamata. Him and his thousand claw army. <gasps> oh. Half of what we make is his. Well, Hamada's gotta go. Six months ago, Boss Hamata took Kinuyo. I bought Kinuyo from her father, who'd grown tired of abusing her. He knew nothing about his daughter except that she was deaf and mute. <sighs> Oh. In time, Poor thing. she grew to trust me. Oh, and then she was taken by Hamada? Great. <sighs> but boss Hamada likes to break delicate things. So, he took her. He took her from me. I promised her. Oh my god, I want Hamada gone. There is only one way to spare Kinuyo. You want me to kill Boss Hamata? No. Her. Oh. Mercy. There can be no witnesses. Swear it. I swear. I trust Mizu with my life. Oh, mercy killing. 
Before you open the door to heaven, I want you to face Kinuyo and make the sign. She will know you are there as my hen, and she will be at peace. I don't want uh, Kinuyo to die, but... Oh. This episode has been just like a roller coaster. I was like, yeah, a brothel. Oh, a brothel. And then I'm like, oh, a brothel. And then I was like, oh. Ringo. Please, if you don't let me in, Madam will beat me. No, she won't. Does Akemi know that that's the samurai that Taigen fought? Akemi? How many days have you been a prayer? Oh, it's a fake. If your mother was here, she would have taught you what it is to be a wife. Now, to be clear, she was not ideal. She talked back often like you, but she knew how to please me. That's what's important. The 12 and 20 oh. positions. The 20 are for professionals, but <laughs> you're marrying into the shogunate, so... What a weird thing for a father to give a daughter, right? I guess as long as she's prepared. <laughs> At some point, you have to talk to me. Where would she have gone? I have no idea. Seki came back. Interesting. He probably set that up. Don't you want to make more money on me? We can do better. <sighs> Was that not the place where they were at? The village? Or is that a different place? We can do better. <sighs> we can do better. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Tygen. Where are you? She's determined. I love that for her. He will hit you with a fist. He will hit you with a club. He will hit you with a hammer. Oh my god. Oh. This is boring. <sighs> A oh, Fowler's board, that means something bad is coming. Yeah, there's a reason I haven't been down here in a decade. I'm not waiting on you for supper. Okay, Fowler needs to leave. I am I feel much better about Tygen being down here without Fowler. I feel like he'd be like, let's take his intestines out one inch at a time. Why suffer so much to protect an enemy? He deserves better than you. Wow. He will cut you with a knife. <laughs> I see the animation of Tygen was so beautiful like it was very dark bloody gory but it was beautiful at the same time art oh don't get an idea oh no I could see him wanting to do that to Tygen I will send for your priests to bring them your word and hand you a nation of souls. This man, this man. My thanks, if you see fit. It's no matter to me either way. I've got uh, no use for souls. I'm so surprised you let that spider live. I feel like he would have pulled the legs off and enjoyed torturing it. Keep up! I'm not missing the duel because of you. A duel? A skinny guy and a big guy. I bet five on on the skinny one. You got a face uh, like a demon. A demon. <laughs> Interesting how she got drawn there. Tygen, that's his scarf. Oh. Demon. Oh, no, no, no. Did Akemi poison the tea? Is, is Mizu going to recognize her? Oh, no, 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 no. Not Madame Kaji's. They're known for peculiarities again what's wrong with that i mean the destructive kind yikes but <laughs> Goro. no no out out get out oh <laughs> what, what, what kind of welcome is that oh, he's got a reputation not huh welcome. not since you sold us that poxy puss madame kaji won't even look at a girl from you poxy puss i always wanted to be rich can you imagine <laughs> What do you think it feels like? She knows, believe me. Like never thinking about how you're rich. 
She just took that poison, too. Is she gonna knock them out? Your richest client's favorite position. Me, on top. Goro, you're an idiot. Every day of your life. You've been had. She's no more a courtesan than I'm a maiden. You're the real thing, aren't you? Virgin. You've barely seen two cocks your whole life. Yeah, not... <laughs> As I say, not a lot. But not a virgin. Akemi will take Master Watari. First, I'd much rather... There is no end to that sentence that matters. <laughs> Oof. We'll be watching. Oh, man. Take off your kimono. More sake? Girl, you gotta play the game. You can drink oh. so much. I bet you were a mighty warrior in your day. And who's your favorite poet? Ono no Komachi. Her words light a fire and fill me with smoke. Shall I recite? Mm. Oh, look who decided to join our party. Hello, Please don't show friend. it. I missed you. Do you enjoy Renga? What's Renga? You start with the haiku. I answer with two lines. Your brushstroke, my brushstroke. Mm. Interesting. She's going to do this with words, huh? Show me your brushstroke. <laughs> Fire cannot burn ice. She's making him do it. So smart. To the sun goddess, I give sweet... <laughs> sweet nectar of your body. A gift she declines. Well, good job, Akimi. Didn't you have to even touch him. One thing no man can resist. Himself. <laughs> Fair point. I hope Mizu recognizes Akemi. Don't drink it. Your eyes. They're beautiful. Oh. Smart. Your madam explained how it is some essential part of the soul that draws men to brothels when it's only naked flattery. Do men usually fall for this? Oh, good for you, Mizu. Maybe just a sip. If you'll join me. Suddenly, I'm glad for company. Can't resist it. Kyoto. I've only been there once. Recently. Full of puffed up crows posing as swordsmen. I beat the most ridiculous samurai there. <laughs> I think he was angrier about his hair than his marriage. What was his name? Hmm. She knows. I can't remember. Anyway, he's dead now. What? Oh yeah, I killed him. Good trick, Mizu, good trick. She's good. <laughs> yeah, no one's affected by it whatsoever. <laughs> oh, shut up. I didn't kill him. I left him with his life in a contract to fight. Oh, that's right, she doesn't know. You could have anything you want, and then you beg to eat trash. Wow. You got a girl. A pretty girl. Oh, Wait, Ringo. How does that work? <laughs> she moves. Kill her. What? I can't kill her. What do you think an apprentice does? I don't think murder, but... Oh, Ringo, you're so not menacing. You're not gonna kill her. Yeah. Do you have to stare? Sorry. <laughs> Probably the safest person to be with her is Ringo. He never lets Kinyu out of his sight. Only when the Moxa doctor comes each dawn to treat the sores Hamata gave her. Ah. Uh. That poor thing. I mean, do we think Mizu will, like, just kill everybody and leave her, uh, Kinyo alive? 
I mean, I'm normally not like, I want so-and-so dead, but I want Hamada dead. Oh, I love you, Mizu. Like a ghost. That's interesting. Incense on her legs. It's obviously more spiritual than it is physical, but... I mean, does she even understand what's happening? I just don't know how she's gonna make it look like an accident. Misu. I just don't know how you make it look like an accident. I'll protect you. Aww. She's not gonna kill her. Run to the night watchman. Tell him there's been a fight. You hear me, boy? To the gate. Go. Oh, she's got blue eyes, though, and he can just say that the blue-eyed man told her. Him. Whatever. You showed her the sign. <laughs> what did she sign back? She understood. At the furthest point, before rock becomes sure, is a well. Sleep the day, then go and die. Thank you, Madam Kaji. Oh. I, I thought for sure that Mizu was going to save her rather than do that. I thought you had to be something special. Your face isn't even so scary. You're just angry. I see why he likes you. You're just like Tygen when we were children. Fucking brat. You Oof. knew him? <laughs> Boy! Oh! Kill everyone, then burn it down. No, no. I'm so mad. Kenneth Brenna does Fowler? Oh my god. <laughs> I would never have guessed that. I was like, oh, a mercy killing. You know, like like oh Mizu won't won't do that. She kept she kept her word. She kept her word. Oh my god. I mean better than I guess what Kinyo was going to be experiencing later. But obviously I knew that boy, not that I'm like she should have killed the boy, but you know. I don't know how you get out of that situation other than killing that little boy, and I don't I don't agree with killing children, even if he was a little rat bastard tattletale. Um, I don't know who, um, uh, I already forget his name. I don't, I don't know who they killed. Hamada, I guess. I don't know who it was that he killed. It was probably just somebody that they set an example of, or was it the guy? I think it was the guy that answers the door to the brothel. Actually, I take that back. Um, but wow. Wow. And now the next episode, whoo, holy shit, that's going to be good. <sighs> So, 
Tegan's being tortured by Heiji Shindo, which I think is much better than Abijah. Um, I think if uh, Fowler is, uh, I was so terrified when he saw Christ on the crucifix. I was like, oh, it's going to give him an idea. Thank God that's not what happened. Oh, man. I'm, I'm worried about Tygen, but I feel like he can take torture. Um, I feel like I feel like he has that type of spirit. Like, he's got that type of strength in him. Um, the fact that he's not giving up Mizu, uh, I mean, is it his, I don't want to say revenge plot, because it's no longer about revenge. It's about honor to him. But, you know, it, his honor, I guess, is so important to him that he's like, yeah, I'm going to take all the torture you can give. That is intense. Uh, but then, you know, Fowler going into the chapel and, you know, kind of like talking to a god, but more so saying, you know, anything that goes my way, I'm going to see as a sign that uh, you want me to continue and change the world the way I'd like to see it. And no, I couldn't think of anything worse. Uh, not looking forward to that. I don't, I don't know if Fowler makes it out of this season, and if he does, I'm terrified for what he does. Um, the fact that Madame Kaji's uh, brothel is, it caters to peculiarities. Now, I would say peculiarities, um, maybe in that time, is like BDSM our time, so uh, I don't really see that as peculiar, but just a matter of taste, right? And I always tell people, like, I don't kink shame because what people like, they like. Um, except for um, violence that is um, beyond a level of uh, where where it's it it turns into torture and there's no longer consent. I don't think anyone consents to like you know certain things, um, and I don't think that Kinyo has a way of giving consent or taking away consent. And the fact that uh, Hamada likes things that are delicate. That disturbs me, but I love that Madame Karaji was protecting her and, and really tried to keep men away from her. Um, you know, they always say that the head of a brothel, like that, you know, they take care of their girls, but they also take care of their customers and the expectations are a little different. But like, you know, she genuinely loved Kinyo as a daughter. But, you know, the, the, the she's the place to go because obviously Fowler is foul. Just the way that Madame Karaji would speak about saying that certain men aren't satisfied unless they make somebody bleed. Ugh. I could see that out of him. I could definitely see that out of him. <sighs> That's why I'm so worried about Tygen is just like, like, I could see him really enjoying, like, cutting him up or something or worse. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. Ugh. But uh, Mizu, like, keeping her word, that's amazing. And I thought she would recognize Akemi. Like, I was like, she saw Akemi. And as soon as she was like, I killed him, I was like, oh, she knows. Like, she knows who she is. Oh, shit. You know? Um, and it, Akemi, like, totally, like, her reaction to that gave her away. But um, you know, I, I give Akemi credit. Like, she is tenacious. Like, she, when she's on a mission... She sticks on mission. Um, and and I, I'm, I'm kind of proud of her. Like, you know, I really thought from her being as delicate as she is and being a princess and being from a life of privilege um, and kind of having some of the best options in the world, I guess, you know, according to Mizu, um, that, you know, like she she wouldn't be able to do the things that she needed to do to find Tygen. And by God... I think now she will. Like, I was just like at the beginning, I was like, I don't think she's going to find Tygen or like, I don't think it's going to be the reunion we think it is or whatever. I feel like she will go right up to that castle and she will find a way. She will find a way. And, you know, I think Mizu kind of mentioning to Akemi that like, you know, he was the same way as a child and that, that, and that they knew each other when they were young. She might see that it's kind of different than what Tygen had told her. Um, obviously, that was his perspective in the moment. But, you know, the history behind it probably would have given it a little broader of a perspective for Mizu. Yeah, that was, that whole episode was phenomenal. Now, a lot of people, not that they were spoiling it for me, but they said that uh, episode five is their favorite. And I can only guess as to why. Um, I think it's going to be the goriest, bloodiest, most horrific 
amazing Mizu putting on a show because everyone's like, oh, the four fangs, they were nothing. And I'm like, what? What? So I'm really looking forward to the next episode and, and watching Mizu do her shit because she's amazing. And I think maybe actually if Akemi sees Mizu doing everything that she does, she'll just be like, wow. <laughs> like, I think Dagon lost fair and square. <laughs> but I, I do... Um, I do think it's a little weird that when Madame Karaji was, like, talking about, like, peculiarities and, like, you know, uh, desires, that she did have that image of her and Tygen rolling around in the snow fighting um, pop into her head. And I was like, whoa, well, wait. I mean, it was violent, and he is quite handsome, uh, and, you know, he's a master swordsman and all these things, right? He, he's... He's a lot of good things for all the, the bad things that, you know, uh, are, are easy to dislike about him. Uh, but, you know, she can see, like, that that honorable man that's in there, I think. But then also, you know, the skill level, I think, probably is a little bit of a turn on to her, too. That's interesting. Now we have two women that might care about the same man. Poor Ringo. No peaches for Ringo. That was sad. <laughs> But I like how he's like, I can't kill her. And then he like tries to put on a mean face, but he can't because he's Ringo. And he had he had no intention of ever killing Akemi. But like, you know, I know Mizu had to say it in order to like let Akemi know that like, you know, there's a possibility that this could happen. But, you know, Akemi just like looks up at Ringo and is like, stop staring at me. Like, like she's not worried about him whatsoever. <laughs> okay, so I'm uh, totally expecting a slaughter in the uh, next episode. Uh, it's going to be a lot of uh, black and white, blurred out stuff, probably changing it to a cartoon. Anything that Tarantino has to do in order to make his movies uh, just get an R rating, I think we're probably going to have to uh, <laughs> find some of those tricks. <laughs> but guys, uh, if you want to watch the full interaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon. Uh, but in the meantime, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Uh, first of all, Kinyo, can you, Kinyo? No, I've already forgotten her name. Like, she's, that whole story and everything was so beautiful. But, like, did you think that Mizu would actually kill her or try to save her? Because the second I was, I was like, she's going to save her. And I was like, oh, well, that didn't go the way I thought it was going to. Yeah, that was breathtaking, literally, figuratively animated. Uh, like, I, I, I did not think Mizu was going to do that. And I don't know why. I feel like Mizu, she's very much a woman of her word. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe it's because I didn't want her to die. And that, that's my own issue. But uh, were you guys super excited to get to the next episode? Those people that have watched this and binged it, I bet you guys were geeked to move on to that next episode. I have to wait a couple days, but uh, I'm really excited to get to it. So, guys, I will see you back here for probably a really bloody delicious episode. So, in the meantime, I'll see ya.